Let's start at the ending. Today, everything has gone exactly according to plan. Scott Croxall's gonna win this race. The quick first three steps, endurance and experience, all on your side. But you still need one last thing to go your way. And despite the days in the gym and the hours spent planning, you simply can't train luck. I was coming out of an injury last year. I didn't really have a lot of time to train, so uh, this year I'm way healthier and the preparation is there and uh, I think this is my year. The confidence to handle race speed on a crashed ice track does not come naturally. There's a lot riding on your ability to prepare for something that most would agree you have to experience to truly understand. And in 2015, you'll only get four shots at it. My mental preparation is memorizing the track. If I know where every bump is and I know every turn and I can memorize it and visualize it in my head, then I don't have a problem going as fast as I can through anything because I know where everything is. Here we go. Focus, deep breaths, focus on the track. You got this. Five quick steps wins the race. Here we go, stride, stride, accelerate. Keep it tight, watch your edges, watch your edges, watch your inside line. There's your entrance point, take it, take it. You gotta be aggressive, watch your feet. Wheels, wheels, falling on your left, falling on your left, watch right. Here we go, here we go, coming up on your right. Take it home, take it home, finish jump, finish straight, yes! Gone are the days when guys could simply show up and skate hard. Today's best racers combine the conditioning of a hockey player, the agility of an alpine skier, and the bump and grind strategy of your favorite NASCAR driver. For me, uh, really a key moment was my failure in Quebec 2012, what was pretty much a lack of endurance. This track was 600 meters long and just destroyed me. I really could see that we have to train with a plan here. And that plan? Well, it's different depending on who you talk to and where you call home. Three different athletes, three different plans. Science versus intensity versus quickness. With the Dracos, they do speed training, they do weight training, coordination. We have a lot of jumping in the Red Bull Crash Dice events, and to be stable in the air is key. Marco's weaknesses are probably just not being as good as me. <laughs> I can't really think of any. No, I have no professional trainer, it's just me. Uh, I'm a lonely guy here in Minnesota. When I go to the gym, the number one thing I focus on is intensity. And then I'm gonna be able to have the legs that I need in that final race. And now into long, 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 let's go. Let's go. All the way, all the way. I think I would just take Marco's luck. Um, I don't seem to have any luck on my side. I have the consistency to get to all the finals. I just need to find a way to get that first place victory. We were doing some sled training, working on some quick feet movements, uh, quick starts. Keep the heart rate up, let's get going, come on. To be one of the elite top athletes, I just come in here and I make sure my body's a tool and not a distraction. Each of these athletes may have chosen a different roadmap to get to the starting gate, but the basic steps remain the same. Step one, 
Ukraine liked the best. All right, folks, this is it, the final here in St. Paul. Step two, find a way to practice the unpracticeable. Step three, make it to Saturday night. Step four, find your comfort zone and then step outside. Scotty Croxall chiefs in the park. Step five, well, that remains the trickiest part of this whole plan. On January 24th, you still need to find that little bit of luck to win.